In the last episode, we enjoy our time with family and visit Leconte Glacier and Hidden Falls, as well as many of our other favorite spots on our way to Sitka. In this episode, we wrap up things that we need done in Sitka. We do our boat maintenance, we get items out of storage, and get Elisa's school year started. Then we head to Ushk Bay, Bear Cove, Chapin Bay, and Jim Cove on our last family boat trip of the season before heading back to Petersburg. In Sitka, just getting some laundry done. Got a couple more loads to do. Then it's on to repairs, oil changes. Elisa's cooling, the storage unit, and then we're off. Hopefully I get a few videos in too. The sailboat was anchored across the channel and when he tried to raise his anchor to get his spot on the dock, he snaked an old sailboat that was sunk and had to drag it to the dock to get his anchor released. While Austin does drone video, we meet a fellow boater and enjoy our time as neighbors on the dock. Elise and I pick up her schoolwork and we move to the inside dock and wrap up our storage unit, sell some items, and get ready to leave.
so it's September 13 and it's a little nippy. <laughs> Some storms going on. Anyways, we're ducking in Ash Bay and we've got 20 to 30 knots of wind on our nose. <laughs> so much fun being a sailor in Alaska. Anyway, getting ready to anchor. There are jellyfish everywhere. Last time we were in this bay, it seemed like there was a ton of little jellyfish. These jellyfish are huge this year. You turn off the generator because they're way too close to the top. And we've already sucked up one jellyfish this year. But this is the most jellyfish I've seen. So close together, it's amazing. They're very cool looking. Hundreds and hundreds of them. I saw something with a drone and I thought it was a mammal in the water and Austin was positive it was just a patch of jellyfish and now that I see them all together, it probably was. Super windy, windy day. Up to 45 knots of wind. The wind is just a howling. We're on night watch, and as you can see, there isn't much to see. Just a lot of wind. It is crazy. Yeah, there's one gust we had this on, and it was well over 45 miles an hour. It was crazy. The boat's just been spinning, but we've been home good at this anchorage. Coming into Warm Springs, mid-September.
bear down there. We looked. Not sure if he's still there. Even warm springs for the last time this year. We're on to a new adventure. This is place. Gavin back there, totally hidden. That's a murder code. Well, we had almost 20 knots of wind and <laughs> took this day, so we got about a half an hour, and yeah, we're at eight knots. <laughs> God, I love saving in Alaska. Coming out of the fog. Fredrickson is so calm today. It's absolutely beautiful. So pretty. We could see really, really well when we first got into the channel. And then we got into a fog bank and now it's lifting. So pretty. We have a big cruise ship coming up. He called us way, way ahead before we could get coming, which was nice. It's big.
That was impressive, the swells were really calm. And now we're gonna head back into the fog. Early morning, the beginning of a storm. I missed the sun rays. You could see it, but the clouds rolled in, so I didn't get any cool shots of it. But now, hoping to watch for some wildlife, some some seagulls, burgles, and other seals. Nothing super exciting yet. So it's a rainy, stormy day. It's get pretty crazy windy today. But the bulls are out in force. Sitting out with my cup of coffee, my binoculars. Hoping to see some wildlife. I was talking to the doggies. <laughs> what are they saying back? Nothing. They're wagging their tails. <laughs> storm. It is windy and rainy and very cold out. Elise, it's gonna fly out in how many days are you flying out, Elise? Monday. How many days? Four days. In the next episode, we get the boat ready to head south for the winter. Elise flies out and new crew members arrive for our trip through the Inside Passage. 